Okay, so this video is about a research project that I'm participating in and um, I was asked to do this by the same um, people that ran the other research project that I did and they work in the area of, it, I think, movement and gait. So they do a lot of movement and gait studies. So I can't tell you too much detail because I'm just going to talk in like general terms. I can't really tell you too much about the product or show you the product. But I'm testing the product for, um, for a week and it's uh, something to do with measuring uh, gait and movement problems. So um, I'm lucky to live in a, a, a bigger city that actually has a hospital that specializes in Parkinson's. And I believe it's one of the, um, you know, it's world renowned. And it's the OSHU um, University Center and it trains doctors and nurses and people in the medical profession. It's actually interesting that it's the largest employer in Oregon. And it's based right in Portland. And I don't drive like a lot of people here. We don't drive if we live right in the city because we have excellent transportation. So they actually um, will send a taxi to pick me up. And also that's good because one of the biggest things about these studies is that you have to be unmedicated. So I can't take medication for 24 hours. And um, that's really rough. That's, that's the hardest part that I find about participating because I'm completely different uh, off medicine than I am now with, on medicine. So off medicine, I have I really have problems with movement and kind of even getting dressed. Not that I can't dress, but it's just like every movement takes some thought, so it takes a long time. But mostly the problem is that um, I have problems with shuffling and um, shuffling my feet and freezing. So it's a big effort to be off medication. So I, um, they pick me up and usually they want to get started like really early in the morning, which I don't like that either. But um, I got there, this test took like four hours and it was kind of similar to the other tests where I, I did like a lot of walking and, and projects while I was not on medication. Um, there was like a, I think it was like a, a someone, that um, was kind of like a doctor, definitely a doctor, and um, she kind of measured um, or did like a typical um, test, like the the neurology test, like we get in when we go in, like we did things like this. So she did that, and then the other people sort of ran the what I was doing, and basically was doing stuff. Um, like different stuff like counting while I walked, different things like that. So they, they never give you too much detail about the research and what one thing also that's kind of bad is that you never know how it turned out. The second part was like doing everything that they did but being on medication. So I took my meds and had to wait until I was on, which um, for me right now it takes like an hour. <laughs> So we waited like an hour um, and then I did the same things that I did off medication and um, there was quite a big difference. That's what the one um, doctor told me and I guess that's what they experienced with most people. Something else that I noticed is that with both of these studies, I don't know if it's a coincidence, but they also test people with MS. They do Parkinson's, MS, and I know MS is also like to do with movement and quite similar, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. So now I have a week where I have to um, use the product, and um, I, I think it's okay to tell you they're just like they're like sensors that are measuring the movement, and so I will use that product for a week, and then I send it back to them, and that's the end of the research problem. In Portland, we have a big um, big Parkinson center and they have a lot of research. So if you're interested in that kind of thing, you might want to check that out um, in your city if they have any kind of research projects that you want to participate in. And um, some of them are, are paid, um, but you know, a lot aren't paid, but you know, you're not paid a whole lot, but 
it's enough to cover like your gas there or something. So that's it. If you have any questions about research, I'll try and answer them. Um, but they are running a lot of Parkinson's research projects. And yeah, that's about it. So I'll see you guys next time.